Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Miro and in this video we'll take a look at Kanban boards in Miro. So let's dive in. To add a Kanban board to your Miro board, what you do is click on three dots and search for Kanban. This will allow you to add a Kanban board um, onto uh, your Miro board and pretty much wherever you click you can add this board. Now the use of this Kanban board although you might may or may not have heard this term Kanban uh, it is um, in its in its very basic essence is just a is just a planner uh, it's just a visual way to to track the stuff that you need to do and that you need to get done um, and so you can call this Kanban you can call this you know a, just a regular planner if if you have if you're not familiar with the word Kanban um, but essentially what this is is just a way for you to track items that you need to do so that you don't forget things uh, in, in in all of the chaos and uh, all of the busy schedules that you're going through so once you've added this board all you can do is you can create more columns uh, and so a very simple way of visualizing Kanban is just to have three columns that uh, already gets populated for you by default um, but you can create more columns and you can do so by by clicking on the Kanban board and just clicking on the plus um, button here and that sort of adds another column now the thing with Kanban boards is that everything is these cards so let's say if you type something here I'll say to do item one this is my first item that I need to do now I can move this from the first column to the second column when this item is in progress so on and so forth right I can keep moving this uh, this card around now what I can also do is I can change the color of the card so I can change it to a different color maybe you have a different way of organizing cards uh, and maybe you're color coding it for some reason you can add tags to it so I can say uh, this is a low priority this is a low priority item so I you know add in that tag I can assign people to it uh, so if you're working in a collaborative space of course you can assign click on different users and just assign them uh, and of course you can do a few other things as well you can insert a link you can set a date when this item is due uh, and then of course if you open up the three dots you have the other few options as well but what you can also do is you can click or you can expand this card and add more description to it so you can keep adding more description and so if you've used something like Trello uh, this is very similar to that uh, so this, this at least this part of or feature of Miro is very similar to that uh, and over here of course you have the same options in the menu you have copy and you have delete now I can close this and you can see that the relevant icons have been added so it's very easy to see uh, who is owning this card and if there is any description and if there's any tags so it's, it's very easy to see there now of course these column names are not fixed as well so you can change this to whatever else you want uh, so if I double click on this I can still I can update this name from to do to backlog for example or you can rename it to whatever suits you best this count that you see is basically the number of cards in that particular column this color is also a nice little option here you can click on this and change it to whatever color you want clicking on the three dots here just gives you a few more other options to play around with which includes deleting the column um, again changing the color uh, renaming the column and moving the column as well but you can also add a, uh, add the column as well so there's a few options uh, and of course different places to uh, do the same thing so that's something to note now I can keep adding a new card so new card hit enter another card pops up I can keep typing something else uh, and the cards will keep popping up and I can keep dragging things to different columns now if I click on the board 
I can click and add a new swim lane. Now this is useful if you were uh, let's say planning um, a, planning something but you have two different uh, you know pipelines that you you want to look at uh, and two different streams that you want to look at uh, so let's say one team is looking at feature one or, and the other team is looking at feature two uh, and maybe you want to track uh, you want to group basically uh, the cards by that feature so the first swim lane will be feature one second swim lane will be feature two and here you can have different columns as well so by default there's just one column here I can rename this swim lane and can say this is feature uh, feature B and this one here is feature A so I have now two swim lanes going on and the columns are the same so you can't of course you can't add new or rename new columns here so that affects for the entire group uh, but that's a nice feature to have you can have two different streams or two different swim lanes going on in your Kanban board for the same number of columns now of course that is feature A and feature B is really um, if you're in the software space uh, you might recognize that or recognize those terminologies but if you were using uh, Miro for planning your event or party or something uh, you know you could add different features based on um, different swim lanes based on priorities so I could very well say that this swim lane is actually top priority so I don't need this card anymore uh, so I can put that in the low priority low priority so you can maybe you know if you're organizing a party maybe you can have swim lanes based on that uh, the top priority swim lane obviously is of very very importance uh, and everything else is just something that you may want to do but not necessarily has to be done uh, so you have different ways of using a Kanban board uh, and I do hope that you use it try it out in Miro use it and let me know what you think about it but in the meantime what I've done is I have created another Kanban board on top which is again another party planning board I have three columns to do in progress and done and I've colored them uh, given them traffic light signal colors so it's very easy to recognize what it is uh, and I've just put a few cards in there and I can always move it around um, and move it around in any direction as well so this was just to give a full version of what a plan you know a, a Kanban board might look like uh, of course you would have noticed I have also renamed this little caption over here um, and I can rename it to whatever I want so I can just say update and that's what it will get updated to now the thing with a Kanban board is that I can click on the option here uh, which is called cards and I can click on this and it will show me all the cards that are in this board um, and so this is useful so this is another way of just viewing all the information that you have um, and I can also click on this at symbol to filter it by the cards that are assigned to me so that's just another way of viewing the contents of your Kanban board um, it's just another feature if you wanted to use or if you wanted to just see the cards um, you can do just that so that was a quick demonstration of using Kanban board in Miro um, I hope you found this useful if you do please leave it a thumbs up and also comment down below uh, if you found this useful and how you use a Kanban board in your Miro board uh, and of course do subscribe to this channel so that you are um, notified about any future videos that I post on this YouTube channel and finally do consider sharing this video with your friends your family with your network uh, anyone who might find this video useful so thanks for watching and see you in another video bye bye